In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an airline infographic slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works when I click as you can see here I've added the map of Australia here then I've added the image of the aeroplane and you can add the title and the retail text at the bottom and when I click it will show me the second map with a longer route you can see the route number two and then the detailed text likewise I've added many different options and with different maps so this is the route 6 and this is the route 7 so depending on the requirement you can increase or decrease these options and you can change this uh, mode of transportation depending on your uh, business need as well and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section i have used office 2019 version to do this so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and change the background to any grid and fill background go to insert shapes from the rectangles choose this rectangle draw the rectangle maybe this much height and width and shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it white and then go to insert pictures i'm going to add some picture of an aeroplane for that go to online pictures or if you have uh, in your local pc you can select that one so here i'm going to type plain uh, png format okay just png and then it will show you a wide variety of uh, different plane images so depending on your requirement you can just choose which picture you like for example for my requirement i need to choose this one you can see and click insert and this got inserted here now with the color i need this white for that i need to go to format picture and go to the picture here and then picture corrections you can see the brightness just increase the brightness to 100 percent it becomes white and then hold the shift key reduce the size so now depending on how many planes you need here how many options you need for depending on that requirement you need to uh, increase or decrease the size for example so let me just put this one okay then i'm just going to hold the shift key control shift key i got the second one third one like that but my requirement says only for uh, five in that case the size is very small so i need to delete and then i need to increase the size a little bit more all right so depending on your requirement you need to adjust the size of the plane so hold the control shift key give a little gap okay you can see here still i can add more planes than five maybe six all right or let it be five only and then i'm just going to select this one and put that one in the middle all right now uh, some planes uh, the height i'm going to reduce this one the position and this one will go up this one also goes a little bit up and this one will be very much below and this will be at the top all right so like these positions i have selected now i'm going to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle like this all right shape outline make it uh, sorry shape outline make it white all right and then you can increase the weight also here like this and then send this to back so it looks like this but you can see here the edges are coming out of this one which we need to avoid that one and before that one let me just make it as a gradient fill so i'm going to select uh, one color for example here i'm going to make it more lighter color can you see here and then i would like the lighter color to be at the top and here i would like uh, some more darker and here at the bottom more darker color all right and then you can just play with this one how you want this to appear right and then right mouse click edit points you need to let me just zoom in edit points and then bring this uh, down here or you can just bring this pull this down like this and then you can see here exactly in the center right mouse click and just say add point and move this up so it looks like this okay so now this is done hold the control shift key i'm going to do for the second plane again sorry let me just delete this we need to 
align it properly again this will come here one more and one more will come here all right now let me just increase the size and then let me just zoom in and again as i said you need to edit points and then align it properly all right okay and then let me just go here increase the size and if it is fits here no problem you don't need to do anything let me just go here this i have to reduce the size you can see here and then i have to put it in the center and then the last one i need to increase the size and then right mouse click edit point then i have to just adjust this one all right so it looks something like this so then select these options the rectangles and then go to the shape format send this to back so you can see here we got these options and now it's time to add some icons and some detailed text for the icons go to insert icons here i'm going to choose some of the maps okay so let me just go down maybe it's location you can see here i've got some latin america some europe asian australian so different different continents i have got so whichever continent i'm just going to select maybe five i need click on insert okay and then move it here and make the height and width maybe 0.7 all right and then graphic fill i'm going to give some uh, this kind of uh, green color here and then i'm just going to put one by one option the maps over here you can see here this is i don't need this one maybe i need this one here. so let's put this one properly align it and once this is done now we need to add some text at the top go to insert text box and i'm going to say root one and then make this as a white font okay make it bold center align and if you want to increase the size increase it so this is the root one press ctrl d to duplicate put it here again ctrl d add one by one and then this one will come at the top and then change this to two three four and this is five and below you can add some detailed text so i'm just going to type equals lorem within brackets one and then i don't want this much big text i'm going to delete this uh, and then center align white font reduce the size and then put it here so this is the option one then i'm going to put like this for each option all right so that's it so our design is ready now it's time to add some animation for that close the format background go to the animations animation pane i would like the map to come first for that i'm going to say fly in okay again if you want make it faster it's up to your requirement and then i would like the plane to come again for that fly in again you can see here fly in i'm going to say after previous and then this should come and this one i can say wipe effect okay and this should happen with previous and then we need to adjust the size a little bit so if i play it comes like this you see here all right again if you want a little bit delay i can just delay a little bit here and then if i play it comes like this and then for this text and this text add animation i'm going to more entrance effect and i'm going to make it stretch click ok so this one should come from the bottom and this come should come from the top okay and this should happen again with previous so now let me just make this also with previous and if i play 
it comes like this you can see here or if you want this to come after previous you can make it after previous and if i play it comes like this all right now it's very easy for me i can just simply select this one click on animation painter click on the map then comes the aeroplane click on the aeroplane then the this particular path okay and then this one and then this particular thing that's it so like that you can just make the animation for the rest of the options you can see here it comes something like this